Hello you, hello traveler and welcome back to the Definitely Greece channel! Here you will find all the best information about everything Greece from travel experts and locals like us. My name is Yoda and in this video I will run you through some of the most underrated Greek islands and a few activities that you can do in each one of them. So don't forget to click that subscribe button and let's get started! Definitely Greece is a travel company that has curated hundreds of itineraries for wonderful travelers around the world and was born out of the desire to really showcase the less known, the raw, the beautiful, the authentic, uh, the not so polished side of Greece. Because we believe every traveler is unique and so should be every single itinerary. Did you know that Greece has over 6,000 islands? And although just a few more than 200 are inhabited, only two of them get the majority of the attention. Yes, you guessed it, Mykonos and Santorini. And although these are one of a time amazing, destinations that any traveler should consider. If you're looking for something a little bit more off the beaten track, unique, maybe quiet, maybe you have a certain hobby that does not align with the party scene that well, in this video you're gonna get six unique ideas, six unique islands that you might want to put in your next itinerary. And a small extra little perk, Mykonos and Saturni are not only the most famous Greek islands, are also the most expensive. So just assume everything covered in this video is going to be significantly more budget-friendly. Island destination number one, Serifos. Serifos is just a few hours away from Athens and it is part of the Cycladic Islands, so for any of those of you that don't know what that means, it just means this beautiful whitewashed little houses with the blue windows and shutters, which is the defining architecture style of all those little islands called the Cycladis where Mykonos, Santorini and of course Serifos are part of and what immediately makes your mind go, oh, this is Greece. Serifos is definitely a more quiet destination, there's lots of wonderful beaches around the island to explore, there's camping grounds for anyone that wants to go a little bit more nature-wise. You're gonna hear us uh, say a lot of times the word Hora, again that just means the main town of a lot of the Greek islands, so Serifos Hora or the main town is actually located up on a hill and you can get a beautiful view of the little harbor from up there. A lot of the Greek islands were actually built this way because of pirates and invaders, so people settled up in the highlands almost to avoid um, the pirates. <laughs> so if you're looking for a beautiful, wonderful, cycladic destination close to Athens that's also affordable, Serifos is definitely one to check out. Island destination number two. This is more like islands, <laughs> but I'm referring of course to the Saronic Gulf Islands, places like Poros, Idra and Aegina. Idra was actually made famous as being one of the little stops of Leonard Cohen while he lived in Greece and the spot where he met one of his muses. But it's also a dreamy, wonderful, quiet destination. Actually, no cars are allowed on the island, so you can enjoy some proper Greek island living. These islands are commonly visited together as you can book a Saronic Gulf tour or cruise and spend a few days here and there. In Aegina, you can also see the temple of Aphea and again, find lots of majestic, tiny little wonderful beaches to explore and enjoy. And to get some more inspiration about your Greek holiday, don't forget to check out some more of our videos. So which Greek islands are on your radar? Drop them in the comments below so we can help you with a little bit of uh, tips and tricks on what to do in each one of them. Island destination number three, Milos. This might not be so off the radar, but this small little, again, cyclonic island is one of the most romantic destinations in Greece. Milos is a relatively small island, so it's super easy to explore it in a few days. If you're staying in the main town, which is called Adamas, not Hora this time, you can uh, get a car rental and explore all the beaches and beautiful little fisherman villages that the island has. And of course, the crown jewel, most famous beach in Milos is called Saikinko, which is a beautiful whitewashed uh, moonscape like beach created by the very harsh winds and volcanic soil. Definitely a must must see while you have your wonderful time in Milos. Island destination number four and this time we switch sides over to the Ionian Sea. This is none other but the beautiful island of Lefkada 
which has a few beaches that actually consistently wrap up the top for some of the best beaches in the world. This is Porto Katsiki, which actually translates to Port of the Goat. <laughs> And to get there, you actually need to trek down some really steep stairs, so it's not very accessible, but it is a very, very beautiful spot. Get in there early if you want to get a good spot and enjoy some shade while you're enjoying the crystal clear blue waters of the Ionian Sea. Or alternatively, you can head to Epiogne Beach, which is also one of the most known around the island. In Lakata, you can enjoy windsurfing, trekking and many more nature activities. And it's definitely one of the most family-friendly, uh, relaxed destinations. So do check it out if that sounds like you. Island destination number five, and that is Ikaria. So we're again on the other side of Greece, far, far away. Ikaria might be a little tough to get to. There is an airport on the island that you can fly to. Alternatively, it's a seven, eight, nine hour ferry ride from Athens. And of course, the island was named after Icarus. You know, the ancient guy that tried to fly with wax wings and fell, and yeah, that's where he fell. <laughs> I know, I know, this video is all about the beaches so far, but bear with. Ikaria is not known particularly for the beaches, but for the people. And what's special about Ikarians is that they have been recognized, and their island, as one of the few blue zones around the world. What does that mean? Ikaria has an abnormally high uh, percentage of centennials, people over 100, and the life expectancy in the island is above 90 years of age. Experts and locals alike think that that's for a few reasons. The very relaxed lifestyle that you will find in Korea. Moderate physical exercise because the island is quite um, up and down, so the locals have had to do quite a bit of walking. It's not abnormal to see very, very old people just hiking on the side of the road, so don't be alarmed if you're driving around. And of course, just a little bit, of red wine. But we're not health experts, so if you want to live to 100, do your homework. It will come as no surprise when I say Ikaria is one of the islands where you can really dive into the Greek living and meet the locals, see the culture through a very different perspective. The island is famous for holding huge, amazing, very festive um, festivals <laughs> that in Greek we refer to as Panagiri and they usually commemorate a saint or have some religious significance but are also inseparable to Greek dancing, music and many many more things. So if you're lucky enough to visit the island while one of those is taking place, grab a local and go for it. And our final island destination number six, Limnos. So again, we're taking you up north this time. Limnos is the fifth largest island in Greece and it's located roughly 12 hours by ferry from Athens, so a long way. Or of course you can fly. Limnos is known for its traditional cheese. It's a local variation of feta that is just amazing. But also known for being a family friendly destination. It has amazing nightlife at the same time. It's very affordable and to enjoy it all, we highly recommend you rent a car, explore those beaches, go trekking, explore a little further, there's a lot to see. You will see a lot of people in uniform on the island, but no need to be alarmed. Lignos is actually a huge army base and naval base. So whether you're on a romantic getaway, uh, visiting with a friend or a group of friends, or just solo traveling, Lignos has something for every traveler. Highly, highly worth seeing that destination. If you're actually visiting from Australia or New Zealand or anywhere in the Commonwealth, actually, you might want to check it out, especially because this is where the Anzac troops left for Gallipoli. And you can visit the Commonwealth Cemetery to pay your respects as well. If you're still struggling to find which Greek island is best for you, fear not, we have put together a guide. You can find it in the description below and you will find which Greek island might be best for you, depending on your hobbies, who you're going with and what you want to do during your Greek vacation. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button so you can get all the best content for everything Greece. It's pandemic season, I know, and we're trying our best to bring Greece to you, but really hope one day we can see you in Greece too.